Good morning, son. Good morning, father. Our story today The Clever Frog. The deep inside a forest, there was a pond. Many fishes, crabs, and frogs lived in the pond. There was a happy and peaceful life. Among them lived beautiful fishes named Salhasra Buddy and Shaka Buddy. They were bigger than the other fishes in the pond. They were very proud of their good looks and intelligence. In the same pond lived a frog with his wife. His name was Akka Buddy. The fishes and frogs were good friends. They all led an undisturbed life. But one day two fishermen, returning from the river in the forest after fishing, came across the pond. It was late in the evening and as usual all the fishes and frogs were at play. Sahasra Buddy, Shada Buddy, Akka Buddy and many others joined the game. They leaped high into the air and chased each other. Seeing the beautiful scene the fishermen were amazed and stopped in their tracks. How beautiful they look! said one fisherman. Yes. And so many of them too, replied the other. The pond does not look very deep, said the first fisherman. Let us catch some of them. It is already very late and we have a heavy load to carry a long way. Let's come back tomorrow, suggested the other fisherman. Ekabuddy turned to the others in the pond and said, Did you not hear what the fisherman said? We must leave this pond for a safer place. Just because two fishermen said they would come back to catch us tomorrow. You want us to leave our home and flee. For all we know, they might not come back, said Salhasra Buddy. Even if they come back to catch us I know a thousand tricks to get away. And even if your thousand ways fail, I know another hundred ways to escape, said Shaka Buddy. We will not let two fishermen scare us away from our meat. All the others in the pond agreed with them. Well, I know only one trick, said Ekka Buddy. To leave the place before danger strikes. Ekka Buddy and his wife left the pond in search of a safer place. All the fishes, crabs and frogs laughed at them as they left. The next day the fishermen returned to the pond and cast their neck. Ouch! This net is too thick for me to bite through cried Salhasra Buddy. For me too, cried Shaka Buddy. Only if I could get out, I could do something. We should have listened to Ekka Buddy, cried the fish. Now we are all doomed. The fishermen caught them all and put all the fishes, frogs and crabs into a big basket and took them away. Ekka Buddy, hiding behind the boulder with his wife turned to her and said, If I had not acted in time, we would also be in that basket with the others. This is beautiful story. I love it. Thank you, Father.